Ministry of the National Security Law. Um, you've worked as a criminal prosecutor in Hong Kong for decades, uh, previously as the chief prosecutor. Would you please share with us what changes, what progress has taken place since the implementation of the national security law? Well, as you will remember, 2019-2020 was a very difficult time indeed for Hong yes. Kong. Uh, there was an insurrection here and efforts were made to wreck the city itself uh, and to destroy the one country, two systems policy. Mm. Uh, there was extreme violence. So it was a terrible time for many people in Hong Kong. There were serious fears that uh, Hong Kong's way of life uh, could be permanently destroyed. I mean, there were certainly people in other parts of the world who were supporting the people who were behind this. Uh, and my own view is that the reason they were supporting it was that they, they wanted to undermine China itself. Uh, they knew very well that if Hong Kong was successful, then this would reflect well on China. Uh, equally, if Hong Kong failed, then this would look bad for China. And they were prepared to do that in, in order to undermine China's uh, position.